I think it can. I think it should be able to. I mean, we can never give 100% guarantees on anything in this life. Um, but I mean, it, it, it should be able to exist without a problem. Uh, there's no reason why not. Uh, you know, the Tour de France is the biggest event in the cycling world, and because of that, or maybe maybe because of that, guys are prepared to take the biggest risks. Um, but what we want to do is try and ensure that that risk gets greater and greater, and that uh, there'll be less and less guys prepared to do it. Very strong anti-doping anti program, uh, which will be in addition to what the UCI already uh, does in the anti-doping field. Which will um, allow the, you know, the, the, the sporting public, the media like yourselves, and uh, you know, the cycling family to to um, to realise that uh, you know the sport is making progress and that we can tackle the tackle the the, 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 the scourge of doping once and for all. Et les augmenter, celles qui existent, les augmenter. Parce qu'elles ne sont pas dissuasives, la preuve. Et puis voilà, et ensuite, il y a très peu de... Pour parler de notre sport, il y a, il y a des équipes qui ne sont pas très gênées de reprendre des coureurs qui ont été impliqués, alors qu'aujourd'hui, c'est ça le problème. Hein. C'est que ceux qui ont triché devraient venir en faisant autre chose.